Hi everyone, welcome to your yoga practice of the day. Today we will start seated, spine long, crown of the head reaching up to the sky. Hands can be on the tops of the knees. Just take a moment here to arrive to this space, to arrive to here and now. Take an inhale, imagine yourself, your body, your mind expanding. And with your empty, imagine that you're anchoring down into here and now, into your body. Take a breath in, expand. Empty and release. Now, continuing with the breath, noticing how often we go into the past and into the future in our minds. I'd like to challenge you today to stay here, to be here now. Feel the anchor with your exhale. With the inhale, feel your body, feel your mind expand. Take a big breath in. Part the lips inside out. <sighs> Blink your eyes open if they were closed. Take an inhale, biceps by the ears. Fingertips up to the sky. And with your empty, bring the right hand down to the mat. Bend the right elbow and stretch open through the left side body. Breathe in, open up like an accordion. And empty. Next inhale, strong core. Bring the right arm next to the right ear. Empty, left hand down to the mat. Bend the left elbow, open up like an accordion through the right side. Take a big breath in, strong core. Peel the ribs open to the sky. Empty to stay. Next inhale, biceps by the ears, pinky fingers up to the sky. And with your empty, bring your hands right in front of your legs, walking forward here, opening up through the hips. Sometimes I have to adjust my feet a bit. Take a breath in and just feel the opening to the outsides of the hips and empty your breath out. Next inhale, walk your hands back to center, rolling over your knees to tabletop position making sure the wrist, shoulders, and elbows are aligned. Inhale, chest forward, tailbone tips up to the sky. With your empty, round through your spine for a cat, lifting up the back of the heart to the sky, to the ceiling. Inhale, expand through the body. And with your empty, feel that anchor as you round through the spine. Now take a few on your own, moving in whatever way feels good for you and your body. Now imagining all the times, especially right now in life, where you don't feel anchored. Use this practice, each exhale to drop down. Each inhale, feeling it safe to expand. Allow your mind to wander. Take the next breath in to come back to tabletop pose. Empty out. Next inhale, extend the right arm long, left heel long. Big breath in, expand. With your empty, tap the right elbow to left knee. Pause. Inhale, expand through the breath, expand through the mind, anchor down through that left hand, empty tap in the middle. Inhale, last one, expand, empty tap to center. Next inhale, expand the right arm, left leg long. Take a bend to the left knee, take the right arm behind the back. If you can, catch the left foot. Take a breath in, expand, mini back bend, chest and heart opens. Empty, bringing the left knee, right hand back to the mat. Inhale, chest forward, tailbone tips for cow. Empty, round through the spine for cat and stay. Come up onto the finger tops. Breathe in, expand through the body. And with your empty, bringing your palms back to the earth and anchor back down. This time, inhaling, expanding the left arm long, thumb up to the sky. When you feel balanced, wrist, shoulder, and elbow aligned on the right side, lift up through that right leg. Engage through the back body, take a big breath and expand. And with your empty anchor, tap the left elbow to right knee, pause and squeeze. Inhale, expand long. Empty tap in the center. Last one. Inhale, expand. Try not to rush the breath either way. Empty tap in the center. This time, inhale, expand. Bend through the right knee. Take the left arm behind the back, catching the foot. Breathe in. Open up through the heart. Little back bend. With your empty, bring the right knee, left hand back to the earth to reset and tabletop. Inhale, chest comes forward, tailbone tip. Empty, round through the spine for cat. Next inhale, walks the hands to the top of the mat. Bring your forearms down to the mat for puppy pose. Opening up the heart down to the earth. Take a big breath in. 
And with your empty anchor down in sync. Now take a few rounds of breath on your own. Notice where you're holding tension in your body. Can you use the inhale? Can you use the exhale to find space? And maybe the tension's in your mind. So bringing yourself to your mind's eye, seeing where it's taking you and come back to here and now. Take an inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat, walking the hands back under the shoulders. Tuck the toes under and go into your downward facing dog. Now walk out your dog here, realign on your mat. Spread through the fingers, melting the chest to the thighs. One heel down at a time. Another beautiful way to anchor into your practice is coming into touch points. What is connected to the earth? Pay attention in each of your asana, each of your poses. What feels connected? What feels grounded? Inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat. Empty one tiny toe step at a time. Walk the toes in between the hands, top of the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift, crown of the head reaches. Empty, melt your chest towards your thighs and fold. Heel toe the feet a little bit wider than hips distance. Grab opposite elbows, let the head get heavy. Now rocking side to side, feeling the hamstrings light up. Breathe in, let the diaphragm expand through the belly, through the chest. And with your empty, feel the feet rooted. Imagine that you have roots growing through your legs, reaching down to the mat, all the way down to the earth's core. Allow yourself to use this imagery to bring you back to the moment. Right here is your only truth. We can't control the past. We can only merely control the future. Take a big breath in. And with your empty, release the fingertips down to the earth, heel toeing the feet back under the hips. Take a breath in, halfway lift. Empty, melt and fold. Root to rise, breathe in and expand. Use the breath to expand the mind, expand the body. With your empty, surrender down to the earth. Feel the feet rooted into the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift, spine long. Empty, plant the palms. Step the left foot and the right foot back to high plank. Oftentimes, we have difficulty breathing and anchoring into the moment because we're trying to change it. Can you allow yourself to be here comfortable without change? Can you be here comfortable with change? Know yourself. Know how your body moves and know how your mind works. So oftentimes we want to get out of high plank as quickly as possible. Can you challenge yourself to be here for two more breaths? Take a big inhale to expand. And with your empty, feel the hands rooted to the earth. Feel the toes connected to the mat. Take a big breath in. And with the empty, push into downward facing dog. Breathe in, expand the right leg long, hip squared. Take the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Stay in your lizard lunge here, coming up onto long arms. Or if you'd like today, come down to the forearms and maybe you open up through that right hip. Keep the left knee off of the mat if that's possible. Take a big breath in and empty. Fill your lungs. Release the breath. Last one, breathe in. Empty out. Next inhale, come back up onto your long arms. Heel toe that right foot mid mat. Hands are on either side of the foot. Take the right arm up to the sky for a twist. Gaze follows, breathe in. With your empty right hand comes down to the mat. Now we're moving into pyramid pose. So gazing down at that right foot, take the left foot in so you're about three feet apart. Now pyramid pose, we're on railroad tracks. So we don't want the heel and toes aligned. So feel this balance here, feel the rooting, the anchoring down in both feet. Take a big breath in and you may need blocks on either side. Empty and release the heart. Breathe in, lift up through the chest. Empty and feel the anchoring in both of your feet. Last one, breath in, lift up and empty, melt. Gaze comes to the top of the mat. Take the fingertips to the top of the mat. I need to move my foot back slightly. Lift that left leg up to standing splits. Now often standing splits looks like an L. So feel the lighting up of that right leg. Feel the hamstring. Take a breath in, expanding through the left leg. With your empty, bring the left knee into the chest, pause and squeeze. Inhale, expand it long, feel the anchoring and the right foot as you empty, bring the left knee into the chest. Last one, inhale, expand the left leg long. Empty, bring it back into your chest. Simply set the left foot next to the right. Inhaling, halfway lift. 
empty mountain fold. Inhale, reach to rise. Bring the biceps by the ears. Tall mountain, expand with your breath. With your empty anchor into the present moment. Come back to here now again and again. Inhaling, halfway lift. Empty, plant the palms. Step or hop back, high plank. Move through your first chaturanga. Scraping the elbows into the ribs, 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open up through the heart and expand. In your downward facing dog, feel the feet anchored to the earth. Inhaling, left leg long. Empty, bring the left foot to the outside of the left hand, coming into lizard lunge on the other side. Stay up on your long arms with an inhale. You're welcome to stay here. If you'd like a little bit more, empty and bring the forearms down to the mat. Maybe you even drop that knee over to the left. Breathe in, expand through the chest, expand through the belly. With your empty, what is anchored to the earth, find your touch points. Breathe in, feel your body, your mind expand. Empty to stay. Last one, breathe in. Try not to rush the inhale. Empty and remain. Next inhale, come back up onto long arms. Heel toe the left foot mid mat. Keep that right hand planted. Left arm up to the sky for a twist. Gaze comes up. Empty, bring the left hand to the outside of that left foot. Now, just like we did the other side, take that right foot up into pyramid pose. So again, you may need to find what distance feels good for you. You may need blocks or books, whatever you have on either side. Breathe in, lift up through your heart. With an empty, melt the heart over the left leg. Breathe in, feel the body expand, the chest, the belly. Empty and release, feel what is anchored to the earth. Last one, flow, inhale, lift up through the heart. Empty and melt. Now gaze comes to the top of the mat. Walk the fingertips to the top as you simultaneously lift that right leg now, standing splits. Try and keep the right hip and the left hip aligned. Breathe in, expand through the right leg. And as you empty, bring that right knee into your chest, pause and squeeze. Inhale, expand along. Empty, feel the anchor in that left leg, pause and squeeze. Last one, inhale, expand. Empty, bring it back into the center. Simply put the right foot to the next to the left. Inhaling, halfway lift. Empty, melt and fold. Root to rise, inhale, tall mountain. And as you empty, sink into chair pose, Uttkatasana. Take a big breath in, hands come into prayer. Empty, bring the prayer into your chest. Take a big breath in, feel the body expand. With your empty, left elbow catches the outside of the right knee. Now, gaze can come up over the right shoulder. Do in your chair pose what feels good for your body. So maybe your feet are a little bit wider than hips distance. Maybe you're not as low as me, maybe you're lower. Take a big breath in, open up, empty to stay. Next inhale, swivels you back to center. Trust your body, you are anchored. Empty now, right elbow catches the outside of the left knee, gaze comes up over that left shoulder. Breathe in, empty, feel the feet rooted down to the earth. Breathe in, empty to stay, last one. Take a big breath in, release. Next inhale, swivel back to center. Stay, breathe, empty. Next inhale, push through the legs, expand your prayer up to the ceiling. Maybe mini back bend, maybe big back bend. With your empty, surrender all the way down to the earth. Inhaling, halfway lift. Empty, full, plant the palms, step or hop, back high plank. Move through your chaturanga or skip it into down dog. Coming back to that idea of change. Do what feels good for your body. Do and move and breathe in a way that feels good for you. Instructors, teachers just give you ideas. You have to do what's best for you. Inhale, right leg long, hip square. Empty, bring that right foot in between the hands. Inhaling up to high crescent lunge. Empty, sink in. Next inhale, bring the torso over the right leg. With your empty, flip the palms as though you're swimming. Bring the arms to the back body. Inhale, expand, bring the arms forward. Try not to collapse into the right leg. Empty, swim the arms back. Next inhale, bring the arms forward. And empty, last one, swimming them back. Take an inhale, come up to your high crescent lunge. Empty, warrior two, heel to arch alignment. Gaze over that right middle finger. Take a big breath in, flip the palm. Empty, recline your warrior. Gaze up to the sky. 
inhale back up to your warrior two. And with your empty, cartwheel the hands down to either side of that right foot. Right foot means the left. Move into your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, feel the body expand. Come back to now. Empty and anchor down into your downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg extends, hip square. Empty, bring that left foot in between your hands. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Making sure we have a knee tangle alignment. Take a big breath in. Empty to stay. Breathe in, now bring the torso over the left leg for arrow lunge. Take a big breath in. And as you empty, flip the palms and swim back. Breathe in, expand. Empty, feel anchored as you swim all the way back. Last one, breathe in, bring the fingertips to the front of the mat. And as you empty, flip the palms to the back of the mat. Next, inhale, biceps by the ears, fingertips up to the sky. Empty, come into your warrior two, spinning that back foot down, heel to arch alignment, gaze out over the left middle finger. Inhale, flips the left palm. Empty, recline your warrior, gaze up at that left hand. Strong core, inhale back into your warrior two. Empty, cartwheel your hands down to either side of the left foot. Take the left foot to meet the right back of the mat. Inhale, brings your heart space forward. Empty, melt down to the mat for Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Empty, roll over the toes to downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze comes to the top of the mat. Empty step or hop, feet in between the hands. Inhaling, halfway lift. Empty, melt and fold. Inhale, root to rise, biceps by the ears. With your empty, feel anchored into both of the feet. Bring the right hand down to the right thigh, opening up through the left side body. Inhaling back to center. Empty left hand to the left thigh, open up through the right side. Inhale back to center. Hands into prayer, samasi to heat and surrender all the way down to the earth. Inhaling halfway lift, long spine. Empty, plant the palms, separate hop back, high plank. Move through your flow here or skip it. Do what makes you feel anchored. Notice the touch points in each part of your body, what is connected to the earth. Beautiful job, yogis. Inhale, right heel goes long. Empty, right knee to right elbow or tricep. Pause and squeeze. Feel anchored down through the hands. Inhale, expand the right leg long to the back of the mat. Empty, bring that right foot into center. Maybe tap the chin. Inhale, expand through the right leg. Empty, cross the body over to the left tricep, pause and squeeze. Inhale, expands that right leg long. Now with your empty, come into your high plank and take your chaturanga with the right leg lifted. Breathe into upward facing dog. Empty, downward facing dog. Feel the heat in your body. Remind yourself to be here now. Inhale, lifts the left leg long. Empty left knee to left tricep, pause and squeeze. Inhale, extend it long, feel anchored through the body. Empty, come back into center, pause and squeeze. Inhale, extend the left leg long. Empty across the body to the right tricep. Inhale, extend the left leg long. With your empty strong core, come into your high plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. And with your empty knees down to the mat, child's pose. Now allow this to be a space where you come back to your breath, where you anchor back into the present moment. Breathing in, expand through your lungs, expand through your mind, through your body. And as you empty, feel anchor down to the earth. Notice any resistance that has shown up here for you. Take a big breath in and empty the breath. Fill up. Expand through the body and the mind. And as you empty, feel yourself anchored, rooted down to the earth. Last one, breathe in. Empty and melt your chest, your body, your hips. Next breath in, come up into your tabletop position. Wrist shoulders, elbows aligned. Hips above the knees. Breathe in, right arm goes up to the sky, gaze follows. Empty, take that right hand in between the left hand and left knee for thread the needle. Right ear down to the mat or to a block. Bring your left arm forward. Come back to the touch points and come back to your breath. Now you're welcome to take a bind here, taking that left arm behind the back. You're welcome to stay here and twist out through the body by utilizing your breath. 
So again, coming back into the mind, where is it wander? Can you come back to here and now? Take a big breath in and empty. Left hand back under the left shoulder. Bring the right arm up to the sky and back down to the mat. Right away, inhaling, left arm up to the sky, open up through the left pectoral. Thread the needle, left hand in between the right hand and right knee. Left ear down to the mat, walking the right arm forward or taking a bind behind the back. Sinking the hips back to the heels. Taking full breaths in and full breaths out. Oftentimes it's difficult to breathe in this twisted space. Can you come back here now? Can you focus? on the breath, spilling into your lungs, expanding your belly. Can you focus on the exhale, anchoring you down to here? Breathe in and empty. Next inhale, walks that right hand back under the right shoulder, push through the palm, lift the left arm up to the side. Empty left hand back under the shoulder. Beautiful job, yogis. Walking your hands to the top of the mat, simply rolling over the toes, the downward facing knob. Whenever you're ready, inhaling right leg long. Right leg comes to the right wrist for pigeon pose. So stay up here to start, long arms. The closer you have your heel into your hips, the more, the less sensation you'll feel. The more you have the shin parallel to the top of the mat, the more sensation you'll feel. Take a big breath in, open up through the heart, and with your empty, melt your chest over the thigh and relax your forehead down to the forearms. Maybe you take a little bit of a rock and roll here, just little hip movements side to side. Take a big breath in and empty, surrender into this pose. And now notice where your mind's going. Notice where your thoughts are. Notice where your body is in space. Can you come back to here and now each and every moment you have the opportunity to come back. Take a big breath in and as you empty, sink fully into this pose even deeper than you did before. Next inhale, bring you back up to long arms, open up through the heart. Rotate to the outside of the right glute, just swinging the left leg forward. You may have to adjust yourself on the mat. Bring the right foot to the inner left thigh. Take a breath in, lifting the biceps by the ears, fingertips up to the sky. And with your empty, surrender over that left leg. Take a big breath in and empty, release. Fill up your lungs, empty and release. Breathe in, feel the mind, the body expand. And with the empty, feel yourself rooted and anchored to the earth. Next, inhale, walk back up to long arms. Take that right hand behind the right hip, behind the right glute. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Feel the back expand, feel the chest expand, the heart expands, the mind expands. And with the empty, come back down to the earth. Simply crossing the ankles, rolling over the knees and moving into your downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel goes long. Left knee to left wrist, pigeon pose. Take a second here to stay up onto your long arms. Notice where that shin feels good. It may feel different on either side. Typically this left hip will want to peel forward. Can you bring alignment to your hips? Take a big breath in, open up through your heart, feel an opening in the thoracic spine. And with your empty, melt down into the mat. Now go to a space that feels good for you. With each inhale, again, this expansion, noticing that resistance to change that's so often coming up right now. Notice when you start to feel flailing that you can come back to here now. You can find that anchor through the inhale. With the inhale, you feel an expansion. And with the empty, you feel an anchor. Allow yourself to be in this moment. And like I said before, if you need to take some micro rocks, micro movements here to get into the body, into that left hip, go ahead and do so. Take a big breath in and with your empty surrender fully into this pose. Take a big breath in and empty. Next inhale, come back up onto long arms. 
Now rotating over to the left hip. Bring that right leg forward, figure four. Take the left foot to the right inner thigh. Inhale, biceps by the ears, pinky fingers in, fingertips reach up to the sky. And with the empty, melt over that right leg. Take a big breath in, empty and release. Breathe in and empty anchor. Take a big breath in, release the breath. Beautiful job. Inhale, walk back up to long spine. Take that left hand behind the left hip. Open up through the heart, open up through the spine. Empty, melt back down to earth. Now extending the left leg to meet the right long spine. Find your sit bones on the mat. Paschimottanasana. Keep your arms up by your ears. And with your empty melt over straight strong legs. Breathe in. Empty release. Take a big breath in. Expand through your belly. And empty. This is often a pose where we look at everybody around us in class and think that we're not low enough. When I first started yoga, I maybe was right here. My hamstrings were so tight. It took me a long time to get here. And oftentimes the way we are on our mat is the way that we are off of our mat. So before I was so much more rigid with myself, I judged myself, but this feels good for me today. I could overextend if I wanted, but I don't. I'm meeting myself where I am. I'm feeling anchored in the moment, using my breath to stay here. Breathe in and empty next inhale walk your hands back up long spine and simply meet me on your back body all the way down to the earth keep your feet grounded on the earth knees up to the sky you can bring your arms out to a cactus out to a t whatever feels good for you take a big breath in and with your empty drop the knees off to the right gaze comes to the left a little supine twist if you need a little bit more, take that left leg and cross it like you would in a chair over the right. Take a breath in, allow it to open up through the spine. Empty to stay. And breathe in and release. Breath in, expand. Empty to anchor. Next inhale, swivels the gaze and the knees back to center. And with your empty, dropping the knees over to the left, gaze comes to the right. Take a big breath in, feel the breath expand through the body, spilling into the lungs, into the diaphragm. Empty and release. Fill up. Allow yourself to anchor with the empty. Last one, breathe in. And empty the breath. Inhale, gaze comes back to center, knees come to center. Grabbing the outsides of the feet for happy baby pose. Rocking back and forth, massaging out the back body. Breathing in, expanding through the mind, through the body. And empty to anchor. Take one last breath in. And with your empty, nice and slowly move into your Shavasana. So maybe for you, you might take a second to adjust. You may need to take a moment to adjust any clothing, maybe your mind. Allow yourself to come back to right here, to right now. How often are we in the past? How often are we in the future? Can you allow yourself to come right here now? Breathe in and surrender all the way down to the earth. Feel your whole entire body anchor. Feel a softening between the brows, releasing the jaw. Let the eyes get heavy. Notice the whole entire face feel softened. Bring some awareness to the throat. Notice any external sounds and release them just as quickly as they come in. Allow any heaviness that you're carrying on your shoulders to melt away. Bring awareness to the biceps, the triceps, the elbows, the forearms. Feel sensation traveling through each of your hands and to your fingertips. And let the whole body get heavy. Now notice the space around your heart. Allow for some softening there. And let the belly relax. Let your breath 
be nice and slow, flowing as it naturally would. And how often we have sounds, we have people, we have obligations in life that take us away from the here and now. We could quit, we could move away from now. Imagine your mind and imagine a lasso and just bring it back to here and now. Allow softening in the belly. Let the hips get heavy. Feel some sensation in the quads and the backs of the legs, the calves, the shins. Notice the heels on the earth, the arches of the feet, the tops of the feet, and each and every toe. Feel the front body expand up to the sky. Feel your energy expand. And with your empty, feel the back body rooted, anchored, connected to the earth. Allow yourself to be here. And every time that you feel like you're flailing out there, you feel like your mind, the news, the people around you are taking you elsewhere. Can you allow the breath to anchor you to the present moment? Can you allow yourself presence? Because it's really the only thing we can control. It's right here, right now. Feel some sensation back into the body by wiggling the fingers and the toes. Feeling the sensation travel all the way through each of your limbs. Feel the front of the body and the back of the body connecting again. And if you'd like, stretch your arms above your head. Feet long like it's the first time you woke up in the morning. And then if you'd like, roll over onto one side. And from here, I really love to express gratitude for this space. So maybe today you found it hard to get anchored into the present moment. And with everything that's going on in life, that makes sense. But what can you control right here, right now? This one thing you're doing for yourself, this one well-being practice, this one coping skill that you have. Can you control what's going on in the news? Can you control what's going on with your partner, with your friends, with anything right now? And the answer is no. So allow yourself to be here, allow yourself to melt fully into the moment. And knowing that with your breath, you can come back to the anchor. Rolling up into seated or easy pose, Sukhasana. Bring your thumb knuckles to your third eye hands in Anjali Mudra or prayer pose. Connect it. The light and love within me honors and bows to you. The light and love within you, thank you. Namaste.